By the time your child's toddling, you should be thinking about having him immunized against measles. He can be given the vaccination any time in his second year, but doctors suggest that the best time is around 15 months. Nowadays, many parents don't even bother to have their children immunized against measles, so it's still a common childhood illness. <laughs> Most children will have a bout of it by the time they're 10, and it's invariably something that sticks in their memory. How did you feel when you had the measles? Itchy. Did you stay in bed all the time? Yes, I do. Yes. Did the doctor come and see you? No. Mum took me to the doctor. Did you have them have any spots? Yes. What were they red? Big little in bed. I had it when I was seven. I didn't come to school. On the first day, I had it in my friend. I had it in my sister. Got it. Cats got the measles. The measles. The measles. Cats got the measles. The measles got the cats. Of course, because measles is so common, most parents see it as inconvenient but inevitable. But the simple fact is that now vaccination is available, there's no reason at all for your child to suffer with it. Until they catch it, you'll most likely have forgotten just how miserable measles can be. Sandra, I think she's got measles. I think you're right, but yeah. we'll have a look at her. Come on, love. Put your head down. Are you right, sir? Hmm? Yes. There you are a bit, aren't I? Now then open your mouth. Got these little spotty things in the mouth there. Now let's have a look at your rash. There it is behind the ears, and now let's have a look what you got. Oh, oh my God! Look at all that lot. Don't you look aside? How long will she have to stay indoors? She's going to feel, you know, pretty rotten for, you know, a couple of three days. But measles isn't just miserable; it can also be dangerous. <laughs> And for thousands of children every year, it's a very serious illness, which can often lead to complications. Right. This baby caught measles before he had the chance to be immunized. And what was he like before the rash came out? Um, grizzly. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's quite, quite typical of a measles rash, isn't it? Let's have a listen. Here we are. Here come the whistles. Really? Luckily, he only has a mild case and will soon recover. Oh. Yet one case in a hundred leads to serious complications. Complications which often need hospital care. Measles can lead to bronchitis and pneumonia and can cause permanent damage to the ears, brain or nervous system. Every year, a few children die from it. So there are two good reasons for having your children immunized against measles. First, they'll be safe from any complications, and most importantly, they simply won't have to go through the misery of measles at all. A few moments of discomfort for your child and a lifetime of protection in return. That's what immunization is all about. She's very good, aren't you? Good girl. Immunization, or vaccination as many people call it, has always been a controversial subject. Because if they're not vaccinated, then they're going to get all the diseases coming back again. I think any disease is dangerous, really. Why should they get it if there's a prevention? You know, I don't believe in them getting it. I 
emergency. I'm not really point in going through the trauma of a, um injection of my children. If she wasn't vaccinated, then if, you know, you've got a good chance of her catching something, haven't you? But he's had the polio and he's had the measles, but the only one he has now is the hooping cough. I've heard uh, a lot on television about, you know, the side effects from the vaccinations, but I do believe in it because I don't think there's more good than harm. You know, the first six months when they go to the clinic, she had that one. Well, I've got four kids, I can't remember the, there's that many of them had injections. But I will have her done, but I don't know about the whole thing going on, I'm very wary about that. But I think that's mainly because I've not been briefed well enough about it. I shall go to the, you know, you go to a baby clinic every week. Before I actually have her done, I want a lot more details anyway. But despite controversy, there's little doubt that immunisation has dramatically controlled infectious childhood diseases in the last 20 or 30 years. So what is immunisation and how does it work? Well, we have no natural resistance to certain germs. That is, we can't fight them off without some assistance. This isn't the case when we're first born, because we're protected by antibodies, which are substances transferred to us from our mothers while we're in the womb. This means that for the first three months, babies are safe from infectious disease. But after those first few months, we lose our natural resistance and become vulnerable to all kinds of infections. These are some of the germs that threaten our children. Diphtheria, polio and whooping cough. Each one of these is a potential killer. In the 1940s and 50s, before immunization began on a large scale, thousands of young children died because they had no protection, no resistance to deadly germs. Epidemic after epidemic swept the country, killing or permanently damaging thousands. Today, our children are fortunate because they have complete protection against major disease. Medical experts now know much more about killer diseases and have developed a form of protection known as immunization, which helps us to fight off certain infectious diseases. What happens is that your child is given a very weakened form of a disease in an injection. It's so weak that in most cases there will be no symptoms. And the body, by being exposed to the weakened germs, builds up resistance to them. Vaccines are manufactured in strict clinical conditions and every precaution is taken to make sure they can't be harmful. But many people still worry about the possible side effects of vaccinations. Yet all research shows that vaccine damage is rare. The chances of a healthy child being harmed by today's vaccines are very slim. We now live in a basically healthy society and the benefits of vaccination far outweigh the dangers. In this country, dangerous infectious diseases are now at an all time low. The main danger to our children is our complacency. If parents decide that immunization is no longer necessary, should it become unpopular, these diseases will return. And it's your children who will be at risk. So when should you have your child immunized? At three months, your baby should be given its first shots against diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, and polio. This is repeated at five to six months, which builds up immunity further. And between nine and 11 months, the third dose brings immunity to a peak. Then sometime early in the second year of life, they should be vaccinated against measles. By five, when they're starting school, they'll need a booster for diphtheria, tetanus, and polio. If you have a daughter, she'll need to be vaccinated for rubella sometime between 10 and 13. And also at about 13, both boys and girls may be immunized against tuberculosis, if they are susceptible. I don't think it's up to us to, to deny them the possibility of having it, of having the vaccination. Because otherwise, I think 
Well, they might go and get something. You don't know. And then everybody gets it, don't they? So remember, it's your child's life that's in danger. Is missing out on immunisation worth the risk? You may not realize just how bad whooping cough can be. To an infant, it is a constant fight for breath that can last for an agonizing and stressful 12 weeks. Hi. Thanks for coming. Um, is your wife here? Yeah. Ruth, the health visitor. To you as a parent, it is particularly harrowing having to provide constant care for your child day and night. Whooping cough is a disease that spreads easily and puts every child under six at risk. If you have a child under six, talk to your doctor or health visitor about immunization against whooping cough. common disease like the measles can give a child brain damage. Mumps can make her deaf. And rubella can make her own babies severely handicapped. The only way to protect a child from these diseases is with the new MMR 3-in-1 JAG. The sweet girls had it. Ask your doctor or health visitor all about it and protect your child too. No loving parent would put their child in unnecessary danger. Childhood diseases can seriously harm your child. That's why it's important to immunize. <laughs> 